Welcome to Bauer Beauty. If you're new here, welcome. I'm an esthetician and I own a skincare line called Bauer Beauty. You can find our products in the description box below. So today we're doing something so nostalgic. We're doing a favorites video. I'm past the minimalist phase of my life. So I have been consuming a lot more and therefore I've been trying a lot more products and I thought it'd be fun to do a favorites video because I have a lot of favorites, a lot of new products that I've tried that are amazing. First thing on the list is these Wet n Wild Color Icon Palettes. Bitch, these are so effing good. I'm wearing it now. I'm wearing it now. I'm wearing Petalette right now, just the pink one. These do not crease. They are so pigmented. I love the color stories. Like I wore this teal one the other day. I'm wearing this one right now. Like these palettes are just so fun and they're so pigmented and they're like $5. Not worn colored eyeshadow in so long other than like taupe or like brown. Um, and then like copper. Those are the only colors that I usually wear, but these have really inspired me to step outside of my comfort zone. So we've got like this teal one here. It's actually a duo chrome. Look at that pigment. Okay, and this is the pink one I'm wearing today. So freaking good, but like all the colors are pretty, but these are the colors I've worn. Let's swatch some of the other ones. So let's swatch this green one. It's a very deep olive. Okay, and I think the rest are self-explanatory. Well, let's see. Okay, then I just swatched the gold right there. Yeah, these, these eyeshadows are literally stunning. Like, I'm so obsessed. I've talked about this several times. This is amazing this is the brow trio by valentino it comes with a crayon and then it also comes with a felt tip and it's a really nice color it's like a very neutral brown it's technically called granite but what i like about this is it really deposits the color very easily onto the face like it deposits the color onto the brows very easily it's not really affected too much by foundation like it's not drying up a lot of the felt tips I've used like they drop really dry up really easily or they stop working really easily because it's like it's such a sensitive tool as like a felt tip this one I don't know it's just so good I love it I love how skinny it is amazing okay so next is a skincare product this is actually not new I don't know why I put this on the list I guess it's just because I've reinvigorated my obsession for it it's the Neutrogena Hydra Boost SPF 50 fragrance free it is so bomb and I just think I just realized like wow the sunscreen's so good it really reminds me of the isn't tree watery sun gel oh my gosh it is so good but it's like a water bubble look at how thin it gets See, so you can see the texture of my hands it just melts down into nothing into just water hydration it just absorbs into the skin and plumps up the skin and it's effortless and flawless under makeup all the products and timestamps will be linked below by the way next is nyx oh i didn't know this was nyx this is a nyx turquoise eyeliner which i just have been obsessed with turquoise lately but this was a find on amazon and bitch if you have brown eyes putting this in your waterline oh my goodness it just I had no idea how much it was going to make my eyes pop it made my eyes pop so crazy much I wore this with this teal eyeshadow it was really pretty but even this alone if you just do like a neutral eye and pop this in your waterline it's just it makes your eyes look so bright and gorgeous and I just love it and it was like seven dollars this is from Amazon it's by a company called Jerome Alexander it's a f airbrush foundation. It's so freaking amazing. It's so cool. It's a mineral powder. It's an ultra fine mineral powder. And I like this because first of all, it's such a fine mist. If you're just wearing sunscreen for the day and you want to just tweak your complexion a little bit, I love this for that. First of all, I love that it's mineral, but second of all, it's just like the most fine powder. Let me show you. Let me just stop talking and show you. Did you see that? And then see, it's just the most fine powder and then it just deposits like a very like thin veil of coverage and it's so easy. So for those days where you're just wearing sunscreen, you just want a little bit of something, something. I love this. CoverGirl foundation. I'm wearing this now. I've done um, probably two videos on this now. This is so good. I love this. The CoverGirl Simply Ageless in the Pump. They have like multiple variations of this type of foundation, this this line, but this is very moussey 
and it spreads out to like a very thin consistency. It reminds me a little bit of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Not as good as that, but it is very flawless and beautiful. It's light to medium coverage, which I like, and it kind of airbrushes a little bit, airbrushes the texture a little bit, and it's so gorgeous. It's not greasy. It's it's just luminous. It's like slightly creamy, but it's not creamy in an oily way. It's it's creamy in a moussey way. And that's an okay type of creamy for me because that indicates blurring. That indicates just like um, overall airbrush effect. So I've been loving wearing this. Another one from the same line, CoverGirl Simply Ageless in the Compact. I've been using this as a bronzer and it's kind of the best idea that I've ever had in my life. This whole line is CoverGirl plus Olay, so there's like skincare benefits in it, but like this line, I swear, it is just so good at airbrushing, making everything flawless and beautiful. And I've been having a hard time finding cream bronzers that I really like, and so I decided to give this a shot. This is in the color 260 Classic Tan, and it's stunning. Oh my God, it's so fucking good. It's exactly what I wanted. Uh, let me show you the tone. So this is what it looks like. And look at how it just blends out. It just blends out so nicely. It's honestly flawless. It is so gorgeous. I just love it so much. Next product is a cream eyeshadow from Amazon. This is a brand I found on Amazon called Julep Beauty. And this is so fun and amazing. This is like a nude cream eyeshadow stick. And the tone for me is just stunning. It's kind of like a little bit of ballet slipper mixed with nude. Very like beautiful, neutral beige pink, super light beige pink. I mean, it kind of looks like it's about to be concealer. Obviously you see, it's just better than that. It's like creamier than that. When you put it on your eyelid, your eyes just look, the lid just becomes more defined. It just looks like your eyes pop. It says it's a cream to powder eyeshadow stick. I just got this the other day and I think that my expectations were so low. My expectations were so low that I'm kind of like obsessed with this because it's pretty good. This is Formula Matcha Melting Cleansing Balm. You guys, this is really good. This It's not as good as the Neutrogena Cleansing Balm, but it's probably like... I probably like it better than the e.l.f. one. I don't know, I just really like the moussey consistency. No, the e.l.f. one's probably better. This one's probably in third place at the drugstore for me. I actually enjoy using this more than the e.l.f. one, but the e.l.f. one does melt down a little bit better. This one melts down, but it's slightly thicker viscosity than the e.l.f. and the Neutrogena, but this is surprisingly amazing and definitely worth trying. I was afraid it was gonna be one of those cleansing balms that you have to remove with a washcloth or like a cotton round, but it's not. It rinses completely clean. Oh, this was so surprising as well. Another drugstore find. This is the e.l.f. peeling gel. I don't know what a peeling gel is. It's one of my, you have to definitely have this in your, your skincare wardrobe. When you are peeling from retinol, when you start retinol and you get that flaky dryness, a peeling gel is the only thing that can cure this. Another instance, when it gets dry outside and your skin gets really dry or your lips are really chapped, this is literally the only thing that works. Like you can't use a physical exfoliant. It's too damaging and actually not effective enough for this type of dead skin. When you, you put it on dry skin and as you rub it in, it's gonna develop these, do you see these balls? This helps to basically gently take off the surface flakiness. It like takes off all that, that surface flakiness and it also has like some enzymes in it. So it's gonna help to chemically exfoliate while it does this. And it's just, it's a very gentle way to exfoliate this type of skin. But when you're already peeling from Retin-A, you need something, you need an exfoliator that's going to work for sensitive skin. And this is literally the best thing ever. And I can't believe the drugstore has one now. All right, next is the Pixie On The Glow Bronzing Stick. This was shockingly good. I'm wearing it today shockingly good. I've tried it two ways. I have tried it directly applied to my face. I prefer putting it right on my bronzing brush and putting it on the face. I feel like you get a better color deposit and 
it's less likely to mess up your foundation because if you're putting this on top of foundation, swiping it is gonna potentially remove that foundation. So it's better to put it on the brush and then deposit the color that way. And it's the first time I've done it that way and I like it better. The last two times I've used it, it's just been like a swipe, swipe, and then rub it in with the brush. And I didn't like it as much and it didn't deposit enough color. Kind of neutral, it's not warm, you know, like this, Cream bronzer, warm. And most of my cream bronzers are very warm, but this one is very neutral, as you can see on my face, but I'll put it on my hand too. So there's like a good amount of red in this bronzer. See, it doesn't get as much color as when you do this. Do you see that? And I love that it's kind of like, it has a red undertone versus like a, a yellow undertone. This is a product that I just recently like rediscovered. I've actually owned this for a while. So this is a BB cream by Maybelline that's also SPF 30. And it says it's a skin perfector, eight in one skin perfector. So let me show you what this looks like. When you're rubbing it out, it, it's watery as you can see. The viscosity is quite thin. It first, it kind of looks a little oily. It dries down completely matte and it just looks like skin. It offers you just the nicest coverage. Do you see that? Just perfect for those days where you don't want to wear much, but you can wear it as a base too. This is my new favorite thing ever. This is the Maybelline Pink Concealer. I have heard that it is sold out, but this is, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. The best thing ever. I don't like concealers, so this is like perfect. This is technically not a concealer, it's considered a brightener. It's considered a brightener, but it's light pink, and it's the thinnest, most blurring, gorgeous formula in life. You don't need much, and it just brightens up your under eye. Oh my gosh, it's so, so good. If you don't like concealer, or concealer doesn't really work for you, this is amazing. A lot of concealers, I think they contain too much pigment for me. I'm more of like a skin tint type of girl and like concealers are usually like very full coverage and have a lot of high opacity. This one is like medium to light opacity. It's like a skin tint for your under eye and it's just the perfect tone ever. That light pink really counteracts like the dark, the darkness or the shadows under my eye like perfectly. Like this is ideal for my skin tone. I've been trying to make regular yellow concealer work for me my whole life, my whole life, and I've never liked concealer. And now I know why, and I'm like, should I try a pink toned concealer? Like, should I try a cool toned concealer? Maybe I would like something like that. So that may be in my future using a more cool toned concealer, but for now, this is my shit. It is so amazing, I just can't even imagine life without it. What I do is I take the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush, and I just go like this, and then I apply it. I do do this sometimes because it has like the little sponge top. I do apply it directly to my under eyes sometimes when I'm just like, if it's just like a sunscreen day or something. But I have found when I'm using this as a concealer, like uh, when I already have foundation on, if I apply this directly to my skin, again, it's gonna take the foundation off a little bit. So I do like to apply directly to my brush and then go in and apply it with the brush. It doesn't disturb the foundation this way. Okay, next product I have been thoroughly enjoying, which I got during the Sephora sale, is this Say Big Brush. Underrated. Like, I feel like this brush or brushes in general, having the right brush is like kind of underrated. Like, this will make almost anything look airbrushed. It is so gorgeous and beautiful. I love taking how this translates exactly into a swirl. Like, it just somehow makes everything look so damn airbrushed without budging your foundation. I have been loving that. Next product I've been loving, mostly because of the price, is this e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Black Eyeliner. You guys, this is $4 and it works outstandingly. It is so black, does not budge. You can put it in your waterline and it does not budge. There's literally something in my eye. Even my MAC black eyeliner isn't this pigmented. Like it isn't this pigmented. When I put it in the waterline, it like, you know those eyeliners where you put in the waterline and they just disappear or they lose their vibrancy? This does not. Like this goes in the waterline jet black and it does not budge. And it is thoroughly impressive. Okay, this product I'm going to mention, it's like an honorable mention because I'm not sold on it, I'm wearing it today. I'm not sold on it because it has pilled before, but like I can't stop using it and I can't stop craving it. It's, it's such a weird feeling. It's like I'm craving to use this, I want to use this, I love the packaging, I love the component, I love the formula, but like 
As far as performance, it's I'm totally undecided. So it feels like a very creamy, like a creamy moisturizer, but not oily. And it offers just like the slightest pigment. It's obviously yellow. And so it camouflages your complexion a little bit and under foundation, it just looks so good. It's not like a blurring primer. It's a primer that, I mean, it may blur a little bit, but there's other primers out there that blur better. But what it does really well is obviously change the tone of the skin and it also just kind of mattifies everything and it creates a nice canvas to apply foundation on top of. It does look beautiful. It just may take some fudging. You have to fudge around with it. Like it may pill a little bit. So, but for some reason I just still love it. I still like want to use it all the time even though it's been a little bit difficult to acclimate to and to get used to. I really wanna try some of the other colors. Maybe they do have green. If you have a lot of redness in your skin, green would be good. Or um, they also have like a pink, beigey pink. If you have like more dark tones in your skin, that would probably be good. This is also good for brightening and for, for dullness reducer, it says. So I don't know, I like it. For some reason, I just enjoy using it. I like how it feels on my skin. I like how it makes my skin look. I like the tone that it offers. Something about it I just really, really like. Okay, next is a lip gloss that I can't stop using. I'm wearing it now. This is the CoverGirl Yummy Gloss. I have two shades now. This one is my main squeeze. The other one I have is Coconuts About You. The other one I have is more of like a light pink and this is more of like a peach, but they're both like neutral. Not like it's, it doesn't translate exactly. It's just the most sheer color and it's so freaking pretty and it smells and tastes to die. And the doe foot applicator is so nice because it's so big and it's so soft and like the formula is so juicy and gorgeous. You know how some formulas can just be so sticky? Like the, I have some gloss formulas that I just can't use because they're too freaking sticky. This is not sticky at all. It's glossy, but it's not sticky. It is so nice. I'm obsessed with it. I use it more than anything. Okay, next is, this is literally insane. I am obsessed with this product. This is the M Lactin. I don't even wanna tell anyone about it because I want it all to myself. That's how much I like this product. This is by M Lactin. It's a 15% lactic acid restoring cream. This is unmotherfucking believable, okay? This is like frosting. You know frosting, how thick it is? This is like frosting. It's thick as frosting. And because of the vehicle, because the vehicle is so rich and creamy and thick, it is almost like a sleeping mask with lactic acid for your body. And it's like, it creates this shield on your skin. This is how I know it's like a sleeping mask because when I wake up and shower, I feel it on my body. I feel it rinsing off of my body and I'm like, oh my God, this is insane. It's like locking in all that lactic acid, locking in all the ingredients. It has ceramides, it has cholesterol, it has really rich, rich ingredients that are hydrating and that trap in moisture really well. And I'm uh, addicted to it. Like addicted is kind of like an understatement. Next, I'm also wearing this today. This is the About Face Fluid Eye Paint. I love like their branding. It's so cute. This is like a little matte, like rubber kind of matte container, but it's like this fluid. And you can use it, I use it as a blush transition or on my eyes and it's just the prettiest. Also use this under your eyes as concealer. Like if you don't have a pink concealer or you can't find the Maybelline pink concealer, another option would be to mix a pink pigment with your concealer and you could use something like this, but it's not gonna be the same, but it's close. You could probably just use this under your eyes, honestly. It blends out, as you can see, it like neutralized this area of my hand really nicely and it kind of blurs and just looks really beautiful and airbrushed. But I use this on my eyeshadow. I use this as eyeshadow. I'm wearing it today under the Wet n Wild or I use it as a blush transition. I put it right here um, when I'm wearing like a more cool toned pink blush. I love that and I get, I get so excited to use it. Okie dokie, this is the last product. This is the SPF 50 Mineral Ultra Sheer Sunscreen Stick by Neutrogena. I love this. Oh my God, I love this. Can I open it? I love this. I love, okay, so like this is good for when I first wake up in the morning and I wanna take my dog on a walk, like I have to put sunscreen on. And so I love just waking up and just applying this directly to my face because it's so matte. It's literally so matte. Hey, waking up and putting something greasy on my face. Like this is amazing. It's easy. I don't have to touch my face. I can easily apply this literally everywhere. 
and it feels like a massage. It feels like you're massaging your face with this. So I love like doing it under my eye and because it's mineral, you can put it in all the areas and it's so easy to just like, it's easy to apply it everywhere and it looks good under makeup. It like has this kind of blurring effect. It has this kind of blurring effect and it's a really, really, really good. I don't know. I just am obsessed with it. It's so bomb. That was my May favorites. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like this. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe now and I will see you in my next video.